Hey there again, folks. Welcome back to the Real Long Walk. Ah, we got more land over there. Let's go over to it. Hopefully everybody's having a good weekend. Happy Saturday. TGIS. Thank goodness it's Saturday. I don't think anybody says that, but they should. <laughs> no, nobody should say that. I mean, I suppose you can enjoy your Saturdays, but I don't think anybody's just like, yeah, I'm so thankful today's Saturday, unless you like cartoons, you know, or Saturday morning cartoons. Though, to be honest, is that even a thing that that happens anymore? Oh, what the? Whoa, 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 whoa. Stupid block. Stupid invisible mystery block. Destroyed my boat. Murdered it before its time. Terrible, terrible boat. I mean, block. My boat. Yeah, hopefully everybody's having a good weekend uh, so far. I'm I'm done pretty well. I, I've done some recording this morning already. This is the last video I'm going to record for now, and I think I'm a little bit more backwards than uh, than average right now. I don't know why I'm feeling extra tongue-tied, but I am. Um, I don't think I have anything like this. What? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What was I about to say? <laughs> I don't think I have anything like dyslexia. That's a not a good way to just stop your sentence. Yeah, I don't have anything like dicks. I mean, whoa, what? <laughs> yeah. I don't think I have any like, dyslexia or anything, but uh, sometimes, uh, because, because I think I read properly, I'm not an expert at such things, about, you know, all the things about it, but I do say things backwards a lot of times, uh, not even realizing it. I do catch it, so I don't know if that's a symptom that I, that maybe I'm just a dumbass, you know? You know, uh, what? it's one of those things, you know, if you're crazy, you don't know you're crazy. Not that, you know, dyslexic people are actually crazy, but would that be something that they would catch? Would they catch themselves when they do stuff like that? Or, uh, I mean, I guess they probably could, but... Um... And I don't know if, and I don't know if this uh, dyslexia. I can't say the word this morning. Stu stupid, stupid word. Um, I don't know if it's just with your reading or if it's other stuff that would be involved, such as you know, speaking. I don't think I. The point is, I don't think I have it, but I'm extra tongue-tied this morning, so. Hopefully things will make sense. And I won't say dicks anymore. Dicks. I don't got dicks. <laughs> oh, good grief. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how this episode began. Hopefully everybody... Ho hopefully everybody, you know... It can't go any worse from this point forward. So, let's see how it does. Logically, it shouldn't be able to, but I'm I'm good at proving, proving, proving myself wrong, especially when I would like to not prove myself wrong. I'm really good at that. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. Um, I'm not sure when I'll get this video up today, but. There's probably already a video out on the channel already, and if not, there soon will be. I have started up Deponia already. Uh, I'm going to. I've already recorded three episodes of it, and ep and the first episode will be out today. I was going to wait and do uh, the Lost Crown, uh, finish it up, and then do D Deponia, but I think I think what I really want to do is. Uh, Go ahead and get the pony started before 
before I finish up the Lost Crown. Also, the other reason behind that decision is uh, I may actually be having two two games, two point and click adventure games going at the same time. I'm uh, or at least I will for a while. Anyway, the Lost Crown actually has another game out. Uh, or another game in the series, anyway. See, I, I kind of knew something like that. I, I knew one was in the works, anyway. I didn't know that it was at, that there was actually one that was out, but uh, there's a, a Halloween themed one, which probably sounds confusing since it's a scary game anyway. A scary point and click adventure. But yeah, there's a it's supposed to be kind of a mini type point and click adventure game and it's uh to set up the the new one that's that hasn't came out yet. I think it's gonna be out soon. I'm not sure exactly when, but I really did enjoy the Lost Crown. There were diff there were definitely periods where I was not as much into it, but I think that was mostly motivated by YouTube in general. So I'm right now. I'm definitely curious to see the further adventures of Nigel and uh, and Lucy, and see see what all they get into. I guess that does, well, I guess it doesn't really spoil the ending of The Lost Crown. Um, it just means that they don't die at the end. <laughs> or do they? Ooh, it could be a prequel. No, it's not. But, yeah. That's really, I guess, all that tells is that they... They just simply don't die at the end. So, uh... So, yeah, um... I'm definitely curious to see how that continues. That is a very unique game, I think. And I don't think a lot of people know about it. Um... I will. I mean, the game is definitely rough around the uh, rough around the uh, edges. That is for sure. Some of the uh, animations in it are uh, they do feel kind of silly. Though, I mean, from uh, what I could tell, when it was originally done, it was mostly done by by one guy. He one guy had a lot to do with it, and. Uh, he was uh, learning how to use the uh, program that he made it in. And uh, so I, gu I guess that does make, you know, a good bit of sense. Um, I know that in the game, uh, if you clicked on something, Nigel would walk up to it and just be like, he would turn and then look down. And, uh, you know, doing it once or twice, you know, not really that big a deal, but... When you're looking around at stuff, he moves. It moves so slow, and it takes up so much time. And uh, that's definitely one one fault of the game. Um, but if you do like point and click adventure games, and you like horror themed games, it's definitely worth looking into because it's. I'm not an expert at all in horror in horror games. But, I was very impressed with it. Um, you know, a point-and-click adventure game, a definitely a third-person experience, Al, is not normally a easy way to make people feel scared and uncomfortable. But, that game did that really well. There were definitely parts in it that made me feel uncomfortable. And there were definitely parts that made me jump. And that, I think, is very impressive for a point-and-click adventure. 
is not normally the way that people do things like that. But that game was able to do those things, make, able to make you feel those things. And that, I think, is very impressive. Um, of course, it's, it's, a, it's a longer experience than a lot of horror games. It took me a long time to play through. It's going to be... Here's a little spoiler. 59 episodes is uh, how long it's going to be. I think episode 56 went out yesterday, I think, so... It's got three more days. What is that? That sheep's hiding from the wolves. Best of luck on your endeavor there, sheep. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they won't catch you. Um... Crap, I totally lost my train of thought. Has anybody seen my train of thought? Anywhere? Anywhere? Nowhere? Dang. Um, but yeah, it, it, it really impressed me. Uh, the way it was able to set up the atmosphere and... You know, it, it, did, tell a, it did tell a good story, too. Uh, because of my memory, I probably did miss a lot of details in it, but... And the fact that I played it over such a long period of time, you know, I started in October, it's beginning of April now, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, that probably hurt me some on the story, too, but I was, I was, I was genuinely impressed, and if it sounds interesting at all to you, check out a video or two of it, and if you like it, go get the game. I don't think it's super expensive. I can't remember. I think it's like fifteen dollars, but maybe twenty. I can't remember, but something like that. I've done a little bit of research on you know on it, and looked up a trailer of the next game in the series. Uh, I think it's called The Last Crown. That's going to be terrible, especially since we've already discussed that I get get words confused. I'm going to be calling it the Lost, the lost Crown a lot. Hey guys, welcome back to the, la the Lost, Last, Lost, the, the, the Crown that we're talking about in this game. I'm sure I'll be saying that sometimes. Uh, but yeah, it looks it looks like a, it's definitely a better game. The next one, so. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I was thinking, hmm, if I get in the middle of Deponia and this game comes out, I'm going to kind of hate that. Because I, I am genuinely, you know, uh, looking forward to it. I was, I was thinking originally that I might would uh, wait till October to play it, but I think I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. I'll just have a uh, two point and click adventures going at the same time. I go through f I go through phases on this channel. I go through themes. It used to be visual novels, which I'm I'm definitely not saying that won't come back at some point. But for now, I don't. I'm not feeling motivated at all to play any visual novels. Uh, definitely no no uh, not any longer woods anyway. Like the. Uh, Infinity series. Oh my, those games are freaking, freaking long. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, go check that series out if you haven't already. Mm, what else? I have played um, over on the on the live streaming channel. Some uh, some of the vanilla swirl CT on that I talked about a few episodes ago, and uh, I've had some fun with that. That's actually going to be coming to uh, to the YouTube channel too because uh, Tonic and I have been playing. Uh, started up the uh, the uh, the multiplayer version of it the other night, so that'll probably be starting up towards the beginning of next week. 
when the first videos will go up of that. We had some fun times. Had some dangerous times. You know, which is pretty normal for well, CTM maps anyway. I'll go ahead and make me a couple beds while I've got the while I've got the crafting table down. Make me a new boat too. Okay, that's what I say. Well, goodbye to that wood. Not gonna see it again. <laughs> but yeah, that that that's uh it's a pretty fun map. Not easy. It's definitely a different way to play Minecraft, that's for sure. Um It's a uh It's basically, instead of, you know, a designed map, as most CTMs are, in that the uh, map maker creates it in MC Edit, or, you know, or simply builds, you know, actual things in it. The way that uh, Vanilla Swirl works is, uh, is a piece of terrain that was generated in Minecraft, uh, before you know, beforehand, and uh, Brian has some sort of program that he uses to go in and make changes to the Minecraft terrain to add dungeons in it and uh, spawners. Uh, it takes out. Uh, I don't. Well, I guess that's. I guess with the uh, with the uh, new, uh, the new ish, I should say terrain options you can actually set it to where there's not very much stone that or generate it so I guess that's not something that the program does I guess that's something he does beforehand but there's not a lot of smooth stone not that you can mine it because there's terrible things inside the stone it's silverfish so you don't want to do that um and uh so you have to go quite a you may have to go a while before getting stone, which isn't normal Minecraft, you know. Means you can't smelt things, you know, as in food. Uh, you have to make sure to get stone. Now the uh, multiplayer version that I, that Tonic and I played, it I think it's a little different than uh, than uh, the. Uh, than the one I'm playing on single player because I had a lot more trouble getting stone. I had to find a spawner. But uh, we we had a much easier way of finding it, which uh, which you'll see in the uh, in the video. And uh, that way was not, as far as I could tell, was not a way to get it in in the single player version. So. It is a, it is cool because there's different ways he can do it because uh, you know he can put in different variants. He can basically make using his software that he uses he can make things do what he wants them to do. It's it's re it's really intriguing. You know he could make cows drop diamonds if he wanted to, you know because. It, he uh, he edits the loot tables also. I will say that there's a lot more food you can get from from mobs in it <laughs> than normal. Had that just not generated when I when I built, made the boat? Guess it hadn't. Ah, sweet. The desert goes on. I think. A hoop so. Oh, dang it. Not too many sticks. That's what I get for constantly picking up the remains of my boats. Ow. That was terrible. <laughs> so yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with that, and that'll be coming into the channel. Now, as far as coming to the channel, I do hate to admit, but, th but those guys who want to... Uh, Watch this video in Snoopervision. 
I'm afraid it's probably not going to happen. Not for a good while, anyway. Um, I, I think Snoop Dogg's pretty, uh, pretty booked up. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's uh, already in a... You know, got a long list of uh, people that he's uh, doing going to do Snoop Vision for. You know, I'm, I'm sure that PewDiePie's got him, uh, got him tied up right now. <laughs> that was actually one of the more amusing uh, things I saw yesterday on April the first. I was uh, watching some of the videos from the Trailer Park Boys, and very ironically, that's when I saw the Snoop Vision thing because. In the latest season of Trailer Park Boys, Snoop Dogg is a uh, is a special guest on it. That that I thought was some pretty unique timing. Of all the videos that that to, to notice that from, that's what I was watching at the time. Um. So yeah, that that was pretty amazing. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. Snoop Vision. It's it's pretty funny. It's basically, ooh, a village, cool. Uh, that's about, that's about gonna miss it. Um, basically, it's 360 video of Snoop Dogg watching, a, I guess, some viral videos and basically reacting to them, at, you know, in real time. And then goodness, blacksmith, let us see. Just a bunch of apples. I'll take the better pick. Guess I'll get this little bit of bread too. I'll eat it today. Yeah, I guess I guess uh YouTube did that in order to remind people, hey, the, our, 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 our system is actually set up to where you can do 360 video if you so wish. Um, you guys want to make more use out of it? I guess maybe was the reasoning behind it. Um, I probably would not ever be making use of 360 video. I don't think I could, I don't know if I could even record in that with my computer. But, I know Biz did a, a video a while back in 360 and uh it was pretty cool i think he said the video file was like 50 gigs though so that's pretty ridiculous but anyway guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here we made one hundred forty-two thousand. sweet sweet and we're gonna go ahead and end the video here hope uh continue enjoying your weekend and i'll see you in the next episode Farewell.